Look, guys, um, I can explain, okay? Now, I know it's probably been like two and a half weeks, like right before Christmas. And um, I haven't, you know, been very active, but that's what happens when it's, you know, the holiday season and holiday times and, you know, uh, you get busy, you run around and do things. So anyways, I haven't shown my face in a while, so I figured I'd just, why not, you know, I have the rest of the afternoon or the evening to record a video, <clears throat> excuse me, so and just give you guys a little update on what's going on with me and um, my countdown until I leave for basic training. So I know in my last video I said that that was my last cup of coffee. Well, guys, let me explain, okay? I'm not gonna lie, it was not my last cup of coffee. All right, probably, I've probably had like three or four cups since that video, and that's the God, that's the honest to God truth. <clears throat> now, um, the reason why is because I stopped like for a good two weeks there, you know, I went without drinking a cup of coffee. And the first three days was bad. And I had like migraines and not migraines, but like headache and I didn't feel too well. I could tell it was the caffeine withdrawal, right? But after that I was fine. You know, I didn't need it, you know, my body wasn't dependent on it. So I've just had a couple cups here and there and I've been fine, so I'm gonna keep doing it, okay, up until I leave for basic. Now I'm recording this video on my uh my phone here, my uh, laptop is having a, um, an update installed right now, so it's working on that. But um, this this coffee is um, no excuse though, but whatever, you know. I enjoy it. Yeah, I only have like 13 days until I'm gone. So if you don't know. I am leaving for the army in 13 days and I'll be going to Oklahoma where it's much cooler a lot cooler and the temperature actually is like I've been keeping tracks track on it and it's like I want to say like in between like 35 to 50 degrees 50 degrees is pretty high but it's like you know, in there, and some nights I've even seen it get to 19 degrees, so, me as a Florida boy, you know, this 30 degree weather that I'm in right now is 36 degrees, and that's cold for me, okay, like, I am, like, out here, as you can tell, like, I'm, like, bundled up, got my beanie on, got my long sleeves, you know, I'm, like, on eBay, guys, trying to find, like, some long johns, right, there's zero long johns anywhere, you know, Walmart, Target, Cold. Burlington, you name it, the Sears, no Long John's anywhere. So what do I gotta do? I gotta order some on eBay. <clears throat> I don't know why it keeps going out on this autofocus, guys, but... So I'm ordering some on eBay once my laptop is done doing its thing. So I hope uh, all you guys enjoyed your Christmas. Um, I'm stoked that I got to spend it with my family unfortunately I did receive some bad news over the holidays so please just say a prayer for uh, my extended family and um, I won't get into detail there it's pretty personal but um, yeah so on a different note I uh, I want to talk to you guys about why I decided to join the army now we're already four minutes in this video so stick with me, you know, I don't know how long it's going to be. I always say that it ends up being like 10, 11 minutes. But if you want to keep continue watching, I'm going to tell you why I joined the army. All right. So pretty much I started out. I don't, did I already do this video? I can't remember, but I'm going to do it again anyways. So, oh, well, if I did just leave a comment down below saying, yeah, uh, your memory sucks or something. I don't care. <laughs> so I started off um, 
talking to the Air Force and I was going to go do the whole Air Force thing, right? Everybody's, ooh, Air Force. You know, and so I went, knocked on their door. And um, to make a long story short, I ran around, jumped through loops for this Air Force recruiter for a year and a half, right? And he's like, do this and bring it back to me. Do this and bring it back to me. Do this and bring it back to me. Are you sure you want to be in the Air Force? I was like, yes. You can clearly tell I want to be in the Air Force, right? So after a year and a half, he tells me, like, look, man, like, I tried my best to get you in, but we're just not accepting waivers right now. You can try back in July, right? So I was like, yeah, screw that. I don't have time. I've already wasted a year and a half. I'm not waiting even longer for you to tell me the same thing. Like, no, dude, you're not getting in, right? So um, I decided to then check out the Navy. You know, I was like, I could see myself on a boat, you know, like in them blueberries. You know, I could do that, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, anyways, um... I thought it was cool, you know, whatever. So I went next door. And she got my paperwork in like that, you know, sat me down and said, we can work with you. You don't need a waiver. So I was like, all right, cool. I'm going to be a seaman. I'm going to be a sailor. You know, I'm going to be in the Navy, whatever they say. Um, so I'm looking up jobs, right, for the Navy. And, um <sighs> I got to give it to them, you know, like, somebody's got to do it, but I just don't want to be in the bottom of a ship, in the boiler room or engine room, like, doing maintenance on the turbines and the motors and stuff, that's just not my cup of tea, or my cup of coffee, I should say, so that wasn't too appealing, and they're like, well, you know, you can p pick five, and you might get one or two on your list, but it's the needs of the Navy, meaning your rate, your job would basically be whatever the Navy needs or that branch needs, right? And so I didn't have like, I had like five and hospital corpsman was one of them. Uh, logistics was the one that I was really wanting, logistics. And the only logistics one that I qualified for was LSS, which is logistics specialist for the submarine. And I was like, oh man, I don't want to be in a submarine, <laughs> you know, so, I mean, um, but I still was like, go Navy, you know, I'll do it. If I have to do it, I'll do it. Whatever you give me, you know, I'll take it. So I've already wasted like a year and a half with the Air Force. I'm cool with whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, um, oddly enough, my recruiter, uh, I guess went out of town or did something for uh, her job or something she was a yeoman yeoman was also one of my uh one of my rates that i was gonna pick and um so she had to do something with that right so i'm like hitting her up it's been like three weeks right and i haven't heard from her it's like you said you'd be back this day and i'm calling your phone i'm texting your phone i'm you're leaving me out to dry you know she did she left me out to dry you know, I don't think she meant to, but I don't have, I didn't have time to waste, you know, I just don't have time to waste. I still don't have no time to waste. You don't have time to waste. She doesn't have time to waste. He doesn't have time to waste. And my recruiter definitely doesn't have time to waste. So I don't have time to waste. You know what I'm saying? Like we all have zero time to waste. Anyways, I got sick of it and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go knock on the army's door. It's, you know, she's out of town. Well, let me see what he talking about. So I went over there, he sat me down, you know, typed in my uh, my ASVAB scores and uh, printed me out a couple sheets of papers, you know, said, this is what you qualify for, look that over. If you're interested, give me a call back. You know, I was like, hmm, these look pretty cool. I qualify for a lot of these jobs. You know what I'm saying? The Army's got <laughs> buku jobs, you know, buku jobs, crazy jobs, you know, so I qualify for a bunch of them, you know. Better ones than the Navy and the Air Force. I was like, why didn't I do this a year and a half ago? The, Anyways, <laughs> um, so I did that right. And um, I told her, I was like, look, I went back and I was like, hey, so I went 
while you were on your little break over there, wherever you was doing. I went and knocked next door and talked to the army. And I'm going to be a soldier. I'm going to be a soldier. So she wasn't too happy about that, but I don't care. It is what it is, you know. Thank you for your time and thank you for your effort, you know. So he got my paperwork in and literally I was processed and going to MEPS for my physical with, within at least a month or so, you know, two months, maybe. I can't remember, but it was much faster. He he got on my, my paperwork and submitted all the, 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 the forms or whatnot and here I am today. And it's actually the third, so... Uh, 2018 you know so this is gonna be a big year for me and I hope it's gonna be a big year for you so with that being said I guess like the moral of the story is because of like so much time being wasted and the lack of response on some other individuals that's how I am ended up in the army and another thing that struck my attention with the army was like he was like dude you know, like, we're the only branch that allows you to pick your job. I was like, so you mean to tell me I'm going to pick my job? And you're gonna, it's not like the needs of the Army. Like, you're not just going to say that to get me to sign. He was like, no. Like, you pick your job, I reserve this job, and you get that job. If not, then we wait to another job you want lines up. And I was like, that's what's up. You know, that's what's up. Then on top of that, they were giving out bonuses, too, like, Navy, Army, they don't give out bonuses to, to sign with them. They didn't talk about no bonus with me, at least. I don't know if they talk about it with you. Quite frankly, I don't care because I ain't getting no bonus. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care. Actually, I did get a bonus because I got my number one job. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm sorry. This coffee got me amped. As you can tell, I don't drink it too much. I did get uh two Starbucks gift card coffee. Uh pfft gift cards for Starbucks. So I got like $35, you know. That's a lot of coffee, especially within 13 days. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. What do you think, should I try? Anyway, so that's um, that's my little whole army spiel on why, I went, why I'm joining the army or why I did join the army. And um, I'm not gonna regret it because like he's, the army's treated me so nice already, you know, and like, there is other situations like within like the Air Force and the Navy where I didn't feel too comfortable and the Army I feel very welcomed and very very comfortable here you know like I'm getting phone calls from like the captain you know and he's asking me questions on like is this getting done for you do you have all your questions answered you know and I'm just like yes sir like y'all guys are on point with your stuff you know like it's, it, it is I, you know a lot of people might down talk the na the army and say oh the army is this and that the army is that well guys it's not true i mean at least on my behalf so far like i'm not even in yet and i can already tell them i'm you know i'm gonna be all right i'm gonna be taken care of and that's you know that's what i'm, I'm in it for you know Um, so that's that. I mean, what else can I say? What else do you want to know? You guys don't comment on any of my videos. So I don't know what you want to hear. I don't know what you want to see. So maybe it's just the videos are too long for you. So whatever. But, um, I might do another video before the 13 days is over. I don't know. I hope so. By the way, I'm growing my hair out. Look, I'll reveal it for you. How's that? Crazy, right? Yeah. I'm letting them cut it, you know? Y'all gonna give me a haircut? Well, you gonna cut some hair then, you know? I ain't... I'm not doing nothing. Nothing. You're gonna cut it. Well, not you, but they're gonna cut it. So, anyways, guys. Um, sorry I've been out for so long. Sorry if I disappointed you with my cup of coffee here, but it's not gonna phase me in boot camp because I can get past it, okay? The only thing I'm not gonna get past is this cold weather. I ain't gonna do too good in that weather, but oh well. I'll survive. Yeah, so anyways, I really appreciate y'all watching this video and clicking on this video. 
Um, go ahead and sign up with the army. Do yourself a favor. You know, treat yourself nicely. <laughs> Spoil yourself and go join the army, okay? Um, so, I hope to see you guys in another video. Um, if not, you know, it's been nice. I'll see you after boot camp, you know, when I get to my AIT school. So, um, but I'm sure I'll do one more video before I actually leave. So, I got big plans, guys, big plans. So, with that being said, y'all know the drill. This is Langley's Life. I'm out. Peace.